the bubble tripping if she think I'm finna be out here working. Look, I watched last episode. She talking about some Indy is everything. I gotta do everything. I'm not finna be working no 50 jobs. Look, anybody got a deal for me? Dear Mr. Label, dear Mrs. Publisher, can I work with you? I'm trying to be down. Give me the worst terms. Yeah, I'm not trying to do no work. Ew. Okay. <laughs> Look. Congratulations, you in a mess, yeah. Look, you done got yourself in a little pickle, and I'm allergic to pickles, but can we talk about them anyway? We're not even talking about to Miss Signee, okay? Miss Thirsty for a deal. Look, Miss Thirsty for any kind of deal, anyway. I'm talking to you, cause you still out here making songs with her. Ew, look, I'm trying to tell you. I hope you named your songs Elf, cause they finna be sitting up on the shelf. And look, the dangers is they didn't, you didn't even sign, and you stuck. Okay, let's go. You talk money, I can hear you. I hear money. What you say now? When you talk money, I can hear you. What? You ain't got money, that's a cold blood. When you talk money, I can hear you. I hear money. Hey, hey, Bubble on Deck. I'm your host, Tamara Bubble. Yeah. A.K.A. the I Hear Money Coach. Yeah. Look. A.K.A. your favorite straight superstar. Yeah. I got control of my music. Yeah. Look. Look, I be out here hearing money because I hear it. Not because I don't hear it. Look, I be out here superstarring because I got control of my music. I'm trying to tell you. Look, we finna get into this episode. We gonna talk about how you ain't got no control and you didn't even sign to that deal. Ew. I don't even know how that happened. But we finna get into it. Look, can we first talk about the sponsor of this episode? The sponsor is the Sync Superstar Academy. Look. Visit SyncSuperstar.com. The sponsor product today. Look. The top five mistakes killing your music career i'm trying to tell you this episode you made a mistake and you didn't even make it Ew, i don't even know how this is happening look i'm trying to tell you look just visit the look five killer mistakes.com i'm trying to tell you there's a whole lot of mistakes you making them and i don't like it so i got to make an episode about it but anyway this mistake ain't even one of the top five this is just what you did this episode that book Got a whole, look, look, bigger mistakes. Look, all the mistakes. Anyway, the ones that's killing your career. <laughs> look, look, can we talk about the podcast though? Could we talk about what time it is? I want to tell you, look, it's skin 30 in it. That means it's subscribe time. Go ahead, look. Give me that five-star review. All five fingers. I need a star for every finger you got. Yeah, so that means it really should be 10 stars. Give me two five-star reviews. Anyway, just do that one time for the podcast like you know what to do. Then come slide through. Come slide through on this YouTube. Look, come slide through on this video podcast. Come through. Could you come through? Come through with the comments. Come through with the share the likes. Yeah, share your favorite episode. Share this episode to a new signee. Could you do that for me? Could you, look, somebody, they just got a deal. Congratulations, you in a pickle. <laughs> yeah, look, congratulations, Elf. You on the shelf. Yeah. Anyway, share the episode and tell them, dear Elf, come watch this. Come watch this. I know you're sitting on the shelf. Sit down and watch the episode. Anyway. Um, <laughs> yo, I'm not even kidding. We finna get into it. Not right now. Cause look, we got to talk about the reason we created this podcast right now. Anyway, we created, the podcast was created with four goals in mind. The first goal was to save you money in your sink business. Yeah. Look, the second goal is to make you more money in music licensing. Are we trying to create a whole career out of it? We're not trying to get a sink or two. Look, we don't want a sink or two. We need a sink or two or 3,000. Look, we need a Andre 3000, a sinker 3000. Anyway, um, yeah, annually, look, we need, look, we need six figures, we need seven figures, look, we need to do it, Andy. Yeah, anyway, and you're gonna need control to do it, but that's the second goal of this podcast. Now, anyway, the third goal is to transform your mindset. I'm gonna throw something in your mind today, I'm gonna throw something, some, some thoughts up in your head. Look, I'm just gonna put the idea in your brain. I need you to activate it. That's the fourth goal. Look, when you get goal one, two, and three correct, number four, just go ahead and act. Debate like whoop 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 whoop. I'm superstar. 
You just know what to do. I'm trying to tell you. Anyway, if you take that challenge, 24 hour sync superstar activation challenge, you're going to do it in 30 days or less. But if you're listening to this podcast, eventually it might click, 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 click. Oh, I, I get it now. I get it. Yeah. Anyway, that's why the podcast was created. Go ahead and activate that superstar until you get ready to take that challenge. If you're tired of waiting, if you're tired of waiting until next Monday, next Thursday, go ahead and take the challenge now. Go ahead and get the information now. There's some advanced game. Look, everything ain't in the podcast. I'm trying to tell you now. But over time, if you listen to about a couple of hundred episodes, yeah, we're going to be here for a minute. I'm just trying to tell you. I ain't going nowhere anyway. Um, Could we disclaim and then get into the show? Yeah. Okay, so the disclaimer just says, look, it don't say much. It's just look, look, some legal terminology that I'm going to throw on every episode because I'll be out here giving legal game. I'll be out here, look, I'll be out here ragging on them labels and them publishers. I'll be out here talking shady. Yeah, we be talking contract. We be talking taxes. We be talking suable things. Look, we discussing things that people sue over. So I got to tell you, this is my personal opinion. Yeah, this episode, the last one, the next one, every single one, <laughs> all of them look it's personal opinion it's not professional business legal or tax advice it's just free game from a fellow sync superstar bubble on deck when you talk money i can hear you i hear money what is that now? Hey. you ain't got money then you start selling funny and i just can't hit all my i keep it moving like the tax collector like the credit check i let the whole world pay full price you, you ain't got money then you start selling funny and i just can't share that price hey. okay now Elf, look at you. Come look, have several seats. Yeah, sit down and watch the episode because the, the music is on the shelf. I'm trying to tell you now, you didn't give up control and you didn't even give up control. And I don't even, sometimes I'll be thinking just like, Bubble, how could this even, how is this possible? <laughs> look, I'm telling you a deal that your friend signed, the deal that your collaborator signed. It's now all up in your business. Look, it's all up in your sink business. It's all look, it's messing up your money. I hear it messing up your money. I hear it messing up them stops. I hear it adding another stop to your bus. To your money bus. Look, your your money bus gonna run out of gas because it's making too many stops. I'm trying to tell you. When I hear you losing money, I got to tell you. Now could we get up into this episode? Yeah. Look, your friend, she did he or she, Mr. and Mrs. Lazy, right? They don't want the indie route. They want a, look, they want the label. They want the publisher. They like that bragging. They like to talk about, look, first of all, who did they sign to? Because first of all, look, I ain't even say they signed to Universal. I didn't say they on Atlantic. I didn't look I don't name drop but let me just throw some big names out there so you know what we not talking about I didn't say they signed to Sony music publishing even if they did congratulations they're still in a pickle matter of fact they in a bigger better pickle because <laughs> look them companies got better lawyers them companies got worse terms them companies got the small and the fine print that you read and still don't understand your lawyer don't even understand it matter of fact I didn't even think the lawyers that wrote it understand it they make it so tricky that the judge got to try to figure it out anyway <laughs> look, let me tell you your little collaborator your little co-writer your little co-master owner yeah y'all was out here in having one-stop glory just making them hit records just for no reason just could we just make a little unsigned hit right now could we make a little hit that ain't got no budget but fitting to run up on these sync placements and run us into superstardom then look they got tired of waiting they got tired of doing that indie life look they said i need help i don't want to do this work Stop making me do work. I'm trying to superstar without working. Let me find that deal. And they went and signed. And look, congratulations. <laughs> if you want to call it that. I just want to congratulate you on whatever it is you done did. But anyway, you did it. And, and look, we're not talking about them. I done told you. I'm talking about you. Because you didn't sign the deal. But let me tell you what happened. Any songs that you continue to make. Now that they're a signee, right? If you collabing with signees, look, if you unsigned, it's look, go ahead and get that one stop split sheet. Okay. It look, it's available at the Sync Superstar Academy. It's a free download for now. I'm trying to tell you. Go ahead and take advantage. Go ahead and use it and make sure your music is one stop so you can make this sync money. But in the meantime, your friend done went and signed. Or maybe this wasn't your friend. Maybe this is a new collaborator you just started dealing with and come to find out they signed to a label. 
I didn't forget what we was talking about. They didn't even sign to a label you heard of. I'm trying to tell you, they signed to Podunk Records, LLC. Look, they signed to, ain't nobody ever heard of this label, nor this artist, nor this owner. And ain't nobody heard of nothing. Look, <laughs> I don't even know if they really set their business up right. Go check if your label even set up their business right. Anyway, they could have went to the Sync Superstar Academy and got start your sync biz now. I think they did that and now they your label. Anyway, <laughs> look, you just unsigned. Did, did, did they even get an advance? I don't even think they got an advance. They at Podunk Records. Anyway, they at look born yesterday records they look they had no experience llc label i'm trying to tell you people just be signing this stuff just to be saying they signed anyway i don't care who they signed to i'm trying to tell you if they did look, if they put the signature if they put the, the signature okay if they put the signature on a piece of paper and they are signed any songs that you create with them let me just tell you because look you thinking one stop is the only issue i'm trying to tell you no longer one stop your hit records you was creating with them them older ones still might be under this one stop i don't even know what they signed because look these new deals look you got to talk to your lawyer i'm telling you now i'm just giving you personal opinions and advice but i'm telling you now i don't know the deal they signed they might have signed some of the old one-stop music that y'all had together. Did you even agree to that? Did you know that that was happening and that, look, that they're taking your songs to this label and you didn't put in on that? You had planned on making them songs and using them songs for sync. Okay. Anyway, they got spicy and they went and got a deal because they lazy. Anyway, I'm trying to tell you, you could have purchased. This is a solution before the solutions. You could have purchased artists label services you could have you could have bought some label services if you was indie and you wanted to stay indie and you didn't want to do that work i told you you got to pay some money or you got to go do the other jobs anyway look you didn't listen you signed that's cool or your co-writer did like i said we talking to you the one that didn't sign the one look the one that still want a superstar the one that know they ending they finna activate they superstar that's who we talking to because your friend they on podunk records and that's cute or whatever congratulations to them in that pickle congratulations to that elf on the shelf yeah let me tell you what's happening now though any new songs you create with them Okay, it, you might just be making a big mistake. Okay, it might be like low key killer mistake. It might not be the top five that I was talking about earlier, but it might be a mistake. And let me tell you why. Because when they sign, like I said, your hit will never be one stop. Yeah, look, you got 50% control. That means you got no control of nothing. You got 100% control of nothing. Because you only got 50% control. And I'm trying to tell you now, if that label don't want that nothing to do with that little hit record y'all made, they're going to turn down all the sync placements. Yeah. Or they just going to outprice you. They're going to price you out of all the deals. Yeah. They're going to ask for $3 million knowing that the budget is only $3,000. They're going to play your face each and every time you reach out. Like, oh, I pitched the record. I got us a placement. Would it be okay if you liked it? And they'd be like, nah, that's not a song that we wanted to clear. No, ma'am. No, sir. That's not what we were pushing. Look, that label only had a budget to really promote one or two singles they didn't have money for all these other sync songs you've been creating okay i'm trying to tell you okay because you're not listening so i'm trying to tell you <clears throat> i'm trying to tell you that these songs gonna sit up on this shelf because you can't clear them yeah you still creating songs i like i told you if you're making new music with them you can't even get them that little split sheet thing no more look you can't even get them that template no more you know why because they don't control their masters. Like, did you even check with their label? Are you authorized to even be creating music with them? Yeah. Or are you going to have to pay their label to even be releasing these songs? To even be, look, ew. They might not charge you a fee to collab, even though they're on this label. But I'm trying to tell you, the label might charge you a fee to clear the release of the record. You don't look, you in a pickle. I'm trying to tell you, if they signed, there's some red tape you need to discuss. Yeah. Let, let's get to the solution, because I, I don't even, I'm, it's starting to make me itch. They on these little rinky dinkies. They on these labels and didn't get no advance. They on, look, they done gave paperwork to these people, 
And you didn't even get a loan out of it? Ew. You didn't even get to buy a chain with the money that you didn't own? <laughs> look, they didn't even get no, look, they didn't even get enough money to put it down to get their mama a house that they can't afford yet. Yeah, they signed to those labels. I'm trying to tell you, they didn't even get an advance. You signed to a label and didn't even get money you got to pay back? Ew, <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, it's really hairy what you win. And I just want you to know you in it. You in it if you keep going creating songs with them. Your hits will never Never, ever, 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 ever. I'm talking about no, 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 not now, not later, not never, not ever. And at least not why they signed to that deal. Not you. I know you're still indie. I'm still talking about your song. Okay, that you created with them. Okay, we look. If you're doing these records with these signees, okay, these need these people that need, you know, just like a little clout, like a little, like a little, I need a little pillow to tell people, oh, I'm signed. Yes, yes. They, the My label don't have a budget. They're not a real one anyway, but I still signed so that I can say I'm signed. Yeah, I didn't want to say that I'm indie. I wanted to say that I'm signed anyway. Look. Watch out for them songs. Look, watch out for them little elves on the shelf. They're going to sit. They're going to rot. Yeah. When they could have just stayed in there, y'all could have got to this money directly. Ew. Okay, bubble on deck. You know, I almost walked away from this episode without giving a salute. Like, who does that? Okay, not us. Anyway, here we are. The solution simple. Look, could you work with an indie artist? Could you work with an unsigned artist? Would you work? Would you keep it all independent, a hundred percent independent? Because here's the thing: look, we don't want drama. I, if you want to make more money in sync, I'm gonna. You're gonna need the one stop life. You're gonna need one stop music. Now, I'm not saying you won't ever get a placement. I'm not saying that label won't need to pay their light bill. Ugh. The label gonna need to pay their light bill, so they might approve one or two sinks. I'm saying if you want a superstar, go ahead and do these records with these other people that's not tied down to a deal. Okay, a deal now. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, look, bubble on that. Look, if you're about to talk to me, I said if you're broke, you can't talk to me. 